Good morning, friends. Once again, welcome for online learning in chemistry, especially in chemistry paper two of the topic what we have studied started last time that it is aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. Last time we studied the introduction of aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. Along with the introduction, we also studied the classification of all these three compounds of chapter 12 of standard 12th standard. We'll continue with the same topic with the next unit of aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acid. That is nomenclature of aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. We'll go directly to the slides of the PowerPoint presentation and we'll continue studying aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. Now, what do you mean nomenclature of aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids? Nomenclature means naming of a particular compound. Nomenclature of aldehydes and carboxylic acids are of two types. One is a trivial nomenclature. The trivial name of aliphatic aldehydes are derived from trivial names of corresponding carboxylic acids, in which the ending IC acid replaced by an aldehyde. In case of, of substituted aliphatic carboxylic acids and aldehydes, the position of the substituents indicated by the letter alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and eta, etc. The carbon atoms adjacent to the carbonyl groups are indicated by a alpha carbon atom. Well, now, if you see in this tablet form, we have two compounds. One is a carboxylic acid and other is an aldehyde. Now, here if you see R, instead of H, this is an R. And this is a carboxylic group. Similarly, in case of aldehyde, Instead of this hydrogen, this is CHO. So this is an aldehydic group. Now, in this, we'll study of carboxylic acid first. In place of R, there is a R can be an hydrogen or maybe an alkyl group like methyl, ethyl, propyl, and so on. Now, here, if you see, there is a hydrogen, and this is known as formic acid. If you go to the next compound, here in place of R is CS3. It is called as acetic acid. If you go to the next compound where R is replaced by C2H5 also as CS3CH2, we call it as ethyl. It is known as propionic acid. If you go to the next compound where R is replaced by a propyl, so here there are in case, now if you'll have, you'll have problem why this is propionic acid and why this is butyric acid. Here, if you see, there are three carbon atoms, and that's why three carbon atoms means propane. Since this compound is having a functional group of an acid that is carboxylic acid, and it, that's why we call it as propionic acid. Similarly, if you go to the next, there are four carbon atoms. That is, if you see, the alkyl group is propyl, and here is a carboxylic acid. It is an butyric acid. And the next, we go to there are, if you go to see, there are three CS2. Then there is one methyl, so four. And there is a carbon. So there are five carbon atoms, and we call in common as N valeric acid. Similarly, if you go to the aldehydes, the functional group of aldehyde is CHO, which is C double bond OH. So it is an aldehyde group. Here, the, the position of R is being substituted by hydrogen. So it is called as formaldehyde. Here it is methyl, and that's why it is called as acetaldehyde. Here there is three carbon atoms. Again, the same terminology used to be used here, and that's why we call it as propineoldehyde. And here there are four carbon atoms, and that's why it is 
butyraldehyde, but since there is no branching, we call it as n butyraldehyde. And next is n valeraldehyde. So here it is valeric acid, and this is valeraldehyde. So these are the some common nomenclatures of an aldehydes and carboxylic acids. Next, we go to the nomenclature that is IUPC, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, that is IUPC nomenclature of aldehydes and carboxylic acids. Now, what are the rules of this IUPC nomenclature of aldehydes and uh, carboxylic acids? First, you have to select a longest chain of carbon uh, containing CHO or COOH group, which is to be considered as a parent chain. In aldehydes, Changing the suffix E of an alkane by Al. What do you mean by this? Suppose you have two carbon atoms. Two carbon atoms means ethane. So E, T, H, A, N, E. So E suffix of an ethane is changed by Al. And that's why it becomes a ethanol. Similarly, in carboxylic acid, we change the suffix E of an alkane Again, ethane, I take an example, E T H A N E. So I write E T H A N O I C acid. So I used the change the suffix E to O I C and the word acid is followed. So ethanoic acid. CHO and carboxylic acid group carbons always given the number one. They are always given the number one. If more than one CHO, or carboxylic groups are present, then retain the suffix E and using the prefix di, tri before the AL or OIC. Now you'll just uh, understand these are the rules of the IUPAC nomenclature of LDH in carboxylic acids. But when we actually uh, go to the example, you will understand more better. Now in alicyclic LDH, alicyclic means open chain, CHO group named as carbaldehyde added after the name of the cycloalkane. And in alicyclic acids, name as cycloalkane is the word cyclo, that is carboxylic acid has been added. In substituted aromatic aldehydes or carboxylic acid, that is, I would say, cyclic aldehydes or carboxylic acid, two or more functional groups attached to the aromatic ring, the higher variety group is given lower name. That is, if CHO group as a substituent group, then use prefix formyl. So formyl is the word which is used for the lower priority. Now, before going to the example, you just uh, go through the following groups, that is priority or seniority table, where the first is a group, then there is a prefix and then a suffix. So you should know when to use a prefix and when to use a suffix, very important. It is a carboxyl group. So we write carboxy, and which is nothing but a suffix. We always use the word after, say, ethane, ethanoic acid. Here it is COOR, which is alkoxy carbonyl group. So it is for esters, basically. So it is eight. Then there is SO3H, that is a sulfonic group. So we call it for sulfo, that is we use, basically we get this from sulfuric acid and we go to the sulfonic acid. And then there is next is COX, where this is carbonyl carbonyl uh, carbonyl carbon with halogen. So it is also called as, if it is only CO, we could have called as formyl. But since there is a halogen, we call it as haloformyl, and we call it as oxyhalides. Then there is CH, C double bond O NHU, that is carbo, that is carbonyl uh, and with amyl. So we call it as amyl group. Then if you go to the next, that is CHO, that is aldehyde group, that is formyl or aldo group, we call it as ALL. Then there is CN, that is cyano, which is also known as nitrile group. The next is NC. Now there is a difference between CN and NC. Both are having the same elements, that is carbon and nitrogen and nitrogen and carbon. But this CN means cyanide, and opposite of CN is NC, it is isocyanide. So isocyanide is there, which is also known as isonitrile group. Now this carbonyl carbon with divalent oxygen, it is called as keto, where these two substituents may 
have a hydrogen or may have an alkyl group so it is also in case of ketone it will be alkyl group r or r dash which may be same or different we have seen in classification that is known as keto or oxo also known as own not one but own now oh hydroxyl group this is hydroxy and this is the functional group for alcohols so ol and then next is ns2 this is the functional group for amines so that's why you call it as amino group and it is amines the next is or now here is or means alkoxy group so this is uh, basically for you can use for either ethers the next is c double bond c that is from alkene and we have a suffix ene here it is c triple bond c it is the functional group for alkynes and that's why we has ine that is yne then we have no2 group nitro group then we have got x that is halogens halogens x can be chlorine bromine iodine and fluorine but in particular it could be only chlorine bromine and iodine as fluorine is very electronegative it hardly reacts with any of the elements and r is an alkyl group so these are the few uh, uh, substituents and their corresponding names now here if you have uh, seen there are two examples here two or three examples which i have written here it is a aldehydic group here it is a methyl group and here it is a hydroxy group so numbering if you go to see i cannot number is 1 2 3 4 in this react in this structure if you see these two are very close so i take number this as 1 and i have given not 1 but i would uh, treat it as 4 so i have given as 1 2 3 and 4 right so here it is 1 that is benzyl dehyde here is the first priority is benzyl dehyde priority is there very important cho aldehydic group is there the second is here cs3 that is methyl and here there is oh hydroxy so it is uh, when you are taking the name it is goes to 4 hydroxy 3 methyl benzyl dehyde so i have taken given priority to aldehyde as 1 but i have numbered it from aldehyde 1 2 3 4 because here if you go it goes uh, the numbering should be minimum to the substituent positions but when i am writing the name i have given hydroxy the first position so 4 hydroxy 3 methyl benzyl dehyde if you see in the next example the hydroxy is given the third position and the first position is given to the acid carboxylic acid and the fourth position is given to the methyl but still here h so why it is given hydroxy if you see the alphabetical order h comes first and then gem h i j k l m n so m comes later so h is here so four hydroxy four methyl benzoic acid here priority of uh, an acid is given as one so benzoic acid the next is if you see they are just next adjacent carbon atoms so two formyl benzoic acid so this is a benzoic group so one is a benzoic group and the second priority is given to an aldehyde and that's why there is a cho here and that's why it is known as formyl group and that's why the name becomes two formyl benzoic acid this is all what we have to know about the rules and their examples and the substituents prefix and suffix now let us study what are the different carboxylic acids with their structures common names or tribal names or iupac names now we will study for carboxylic acid and if you see here all the compounds are having a functional group of coh group only here the r position the general formula of acid is r c o o h so c o o h is a carboxylic group where r could be hydrogen or any alkyl group or even a aryl group so here r is h so it is formic acid the iupac name name could be is since there is only one carbon we called it as methanoic acid 
So the suffix M E T H A N E. So E suffix is changed by the word O I C and the word uh, suffix O I C and word acid is being followed. So it is methionic acid first. If you go to see, this is acetic acid, commonly we use most of the time. So, but the IUPC name is ethionic acid. There are two carbon atoms, that's why it is ethionic acid. The next is propionic acid. Now, if you see here, the word or pronunciation is very, very different. One is propionic acid, that is common names. And IUPC name is propionic acid. So propanoic acid is the IUPC name, where this is, there are three carbon atoms, and the, uh, we say propane, and that's why we use the word propanoic acid. The next, if you see, there are four carbon atoms, and they are all in a straight chain, and that's why we call it as N-butyric acid, butanic acid. So N means normal. Here, if you see, there is a branching here. Now, to this, there is a CS3, CH, and here there is a branching CS3. And that's why it is known as isobutyric acid. If you see the number of carbon atoms, here there are two, that is two, three, four carbon atoms, and that's why it is also known as isobutyric acid. If you go to the next, it's also known as alpha methyl propionic acid. Now, why alpha? Because to the alpha carbon atom, carboxylic group is attached, and why propionic? Because there are three carbon atoms. When we say alpha methyl, methyl means one becomes a substituent. But in a straight line, if you see number of carbon atoms with carboxylic acid, there are only three. That is CS3, single bond CH, single bond COOH. So this becomes a propionic group. But there to this alpha carbon, there is also a methyl here. So there is alpha methyl propionic acid. So carboxylic attached. A group is attached to alpha carbon and this alpha is attached to another methyl and that's why it is known as alpha methyl propionic acid if you see the nomenclature one two three so there is three carbons and that's why we call the word propionic acid but to the second carbon atom methyl group is there and we says two methyl propionic acid now here the second next is uh, acrylic acid Acrylic acid, that is CH2, double bond CH, single bond COH. So this is acrylic acid, and we call it as a propane to ethanoic acid. Propane. Why is the reason we call it ethanoic acid? Now, here you have to be a little careful, my dear children. That is CH2, double bond CH. So here the unsaturated compound is of alkene, and where the suffix is E-N-E, -E, right? E-N-E. But at the same time, there are two functional groups. One is an alkene and one is a carboxylic acid. So here, if you see, there are three carbon atoms, and that's why we write propane. Now, from that propane, P-R-O-P-A-N-E, there is a double bond, one, two, between the second and the third carbon atoms. And with that, we say double bond means two. We should have written E-N-E. But since there is a carboxylic acid, we remove the word suffix E, and in that place, we write down OIC for it by the word acid. So the main group is of an acid. But now that's why the name becomes pro to, that is pro to enoic acid. Here, if you see, there are two carboxylic groups. And this compound is in common, very commonly known as oxalic acid. But if you see the IUPAC name, there are two carbons, then that's why we say the word ethane. So that is E T H A N E. Now here ethane is there. Since there is a single bond, we return the word ethane. There are two carboxylic groups, and that's why we write dioic acid. Dioic acid. So ethane dioic acid. That is the IUPAC name. Next, if you go to see, there is a simple this. A carboxylic group is there and a aryl group is there. That is C6H5, that is benzene. And we call it as benzoic acid. We also call it as benzene carboxylic acid. Benzene carboxylic acid. And commonly, IUPC name becomes benzoic acid. Next, if you see one benzoic acid, one group is there, carboxylic group, followed by the alkyl as uh, not alkyl group, that is methyl here. 
and if you see the position between these two substituent this is ortho very next so it is ortho tolic acid ortho tolic acid also in commonly this becomes one priority and this becomes methyl becomes second priority so the word uh, methyl gets the second position and the name becomes 2 methyl benzoic acid 2 methyl benzoic this is the basic that is benzoic acid. and that's why to the second carbonate of the benzene ring the methyl group is there and that's why we write 2 methyl benzoic acid the next is uh, if you see a benzoic acid substituted ortho position with, with hydroxy group and we call this in common as salicyclic acid and also IUPC name becomes 2 hydroxy benzoic acid. If you go to the next compound that is again a aromatic ring, a benzene ring with a, a carboxylic group at 2 position ortho here yeah, and the very next adjacent and that's why you call it as thalic acid. Now, this could be at ortho position for this, and this could be ortho position for this. But benzene, that is benzene is there. One, two, since there are both, you have no choice. You can write down one for this or one for this. One, two, dicarboxylic acid. Dicarboxylic acid. Now, here, it looks hexagonal ring. Yes, it is a hexagonal, but it is a cyclohexane. It is a non-aromatic, it, it's a cyclic compound, a cyclic compound, cycloalkane, I would say. And to the cycloalkane, there is no conjugated system. Here, there are all CS2, 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 and CH, and there is a substituent COOH, carboxylic group. So this is known as in common as cyclohexyl carboxylic acid, cyclohexyl. Why cyclo? Because cyclic. Hexyl because there are six carbon atom and there is a carboxylic group and is so known as cyclohexyl carboxylic acid. The IUPC name is cyclohexane carboxylic acid. Cyclohexane carboxylic acid. My dear friends, I think we would stop here and we will continue next time with uh, the nomenclatures of aldehydes and ketones. Hope uh, you are trying to understand the chemistry topics and try to try to study every day and try to take care of your health at the same time. So uh, I would wish you a good health. Please be safe and stay safe. Thank you and see you tomorrow.